Royal fans vow to boycott Prince Harry's TV series as Oprah won't take him to task. 98% of people said in a poll that they will not be setting time aside to view the Duke of Sussex's latest project which is aimed at breaking down the stigma surrounding mental illnesses. Many readers who took part in the exclusive Express.co.uk survey said they support efforts to raise awareness about mental health issues but in light of Harry's recent outbursts would not view the programs. In the emotional trailer released for the Apple Plus series, the Queen's grandson hinted at the trauma he suffered when his mother Princess Diana passed away in 1997. Dated footage shows a 12-year-old Harry at the somber funeral looking on as his mother's casket is carried away. The clip shows the prince telling Oprah to make the decision to receive help is not a sign of weakness. In today's world more than ever it is a sign of strength. The series comes after Harry told Oprah in his bombshell interview broadcast in March that an unnamed member of his family had made racist comments about his son. He also told the world that his father Prince Charles stopped taking his calls after Meg said and the royal family severed financial support for him. Meghan and Archie. Many viewers said the veteran talk show host failed to hold the Sussexes accountable for their actions during the 90-minute documentary. Following the tell-all, it seems that many royal fans have little appetite for another round of Oprah and Harry. Asked will you watch Prince Harry's TV series with Oprah Winfrey? 98%, 9,454 people, said no while only 2%, 185 readers said yes. Just 38 people, less than 1%, said they didn't know. In comments, many readers went to great lengths to explain their reasons for staring clear of the series which will hit screens this Friday. One person said Harry, 36, and Meghan, 39 have yet to be taken to task by any of their interviewers. And taking aim at Oprah's interviewing style. The reader said she served as an enabler for Harry and Meghan to publicly criticize the royal family with no limits. The person added, the longer they go unchallenged, the bolder they'll become. A second person claimed Harry would use the segments to blame others for his problems. Harry was already accused of doing this when he suggested his father Prince Charles passed on genetic pain and suffering to him, which he may have inherited from the Queen and Prince Philip. The reader said. He will just blame everyone else for his past and present mistakes. He will never take his responsibility. Another reader seconded the prediction, saying they expected the royal to blame everyone else for all the suffering he's got. And yet another who described himself a strong believer in and advocate for accessing mental health services said he would not tune into the series. The man explained, the premise that having all of these celebrities speak out about their emotional, mental health journeys will somehow make the stigma of seeking help, more desirable, is hocus pocus. The reader questioned why Harry and Oprah could not donate their own money to help finance countries' mental health services instead of spending cash on producing the program. Another said the trailer for the series was painful enough to watch and they do not intend on watching any episodes.